Little boy comes home from school one day, says to his dad, Dad, I'm pretty sure that I flunked the math test. Dad looks at him and says, son, that's thinking negative, think positive. Little boy looks back at his dad and says, Dad, I'm positive that I flunked the math test. Why do I share that with you? Well, a lot of people were positive that the NAR lawsuit was going to blow up the home buying process, and in particular for veterans and active duty service members that wanted to purchase a home in the event that the seller was unwilling to pay for the buyer's agent's commission. And the reason why everybody was freaking out is simple. It's because VA loans in the lender's handbook states the following. You, as the veteran or active duty service member, can't pay for the buyer's agent's commission. Everybody was freaking out. My message to the industry was pretty simple. Guys, let's let the dust settle. Everybody wants veterans and active duty service members to be able to purchase homes, and we don't want this to be a barrier for home ownership for them. So let me kind of rewind a little bit and basically share with you what happened. On May 22nd, okay, Realtor.com announced Veterans Affairs Signals, temporary suspension of buyer's agent's payment ban. Good to go? So why is this this important. Department of Veterans Affairs plans to temporarily lift its ban, you guys can see here on the website, on buyers directly paying for professional real estate representation until it deems necessary to engage in a formal rulemaking process, a VA official said on Tuesday at the MBA conference in New York, MBA Mortgage Bankers Association. So why is this important? It's important because many people were concerned about what was going to happen in July if a veteran couldn't pay for a buyer's agent's commission. This does not mean under any circumstances that you as the veteran have to pay for your buyer's agent's commission. My personal opinion is that it's going to continue to be business as usual. Remember, the only thing based off of my interpretation in this lawsuit is that a buyer's agent's commission can no longer be listed inside of the MLS. And basically what that MLS is, is it's kind of like a marketplace for homes is the way I describe it. And so inside of that, they used to tell the listing agent agent and buyer's agent how much money they would be making based off of the commission. But what that does not mean, if you're a veteran or active duty service member, it doesn't mean that the seller still won't pay commissions. In fact, I'm of the belief and of the opinion that it's going to continue to be a customary expense that will be picked up by the sellers. Now, does that mean it's always going to be the case? No, it doesn't. But in the circumstance that they might not be willing to pay for the buyer's agent's commission, you as the veteran now have the option to do so. So VA loans are not dead. How's that prong go? It's something like rumors of my death have been greatly exaggerated or something like that. It's all good. We're going to continue to press on. My name is Jimmy Versalino. As you can tell, I'm excited about this news and I thought it was, pardon me, I thought it was important enough for me to get out here on a Saturday. Yes, I've been working in the yard all day, but I still wanted to bring you this update. So pardon my appearance, but remember if you have any questions about VA home loans, I want you to know, always here to be a resource. Comment down below. If you found that this information was a value, consider showing your love, clicking like on the video, and I'm sure we'll talk to you real soon. Take care.